This video is to go over some of the features and benefits of the new actuator lineup from Tiedown Engineering. Model 660, which is 6,600 pound capacity, model 700, 7,000 pound capacity, and model 800, 8,000 pound capacity. First thing is we have fewer models. Uh, all of the, uh, the three that we've mentioned here all have the extended housing, which covers the solenoid. Uh, previously, we'd had a short version, medium, and a long version, so now it's just one housing length. Uh, the visual improvements, cast iron latch handle, it lays down when it's in the locked position. Previously, our actuators were locked in an up position. Now it's uh, in a down position, much nicer looking, and you know when it's locked. Uh, underneath is a cast steel ball clamp. This is a carryover from uh, models past, much stronger than a stamped steel coupler um, to lock the ball in place. One of the new features is the quick latch coupler. Uh, what this means is, is that if the handle is down and you set this on top of your trailer ball, it locks it into place by setting the weight of the trailer down. Later in the video we'll show this on actual use on a trailer. Then of course you can release it by putting the handle up. We continue with the safety lock mechanism which you use your pin to go in the side and this locks the coupler uh, to the ball. It has nothing to do with the handle. It locks the mechanism to the ball so that it can't come out. So that's important uh, always in setting up the trailer and put that in there. Might also add that uh, when you have the ball on top, and again we'll show you this later in an actual trailer, is that you cannot get the pin in if it's just sitting on top of the ball and not in that latch position. So if it's latched, the pin goes in, and if it's not, it's just sitting on top of the ball, it will not go in. That's a great safety feature. Inside, we have the master cylinder, which is aluminum, very corrosion resistant. Uh, the dampener now is built in. Previously, you had to fill the dampener before you could bleed the brakes. This is no longer necessary, so uh, when you bleed the brakes now, it's just fill the master cylinder full of fluid, bleed the brakes, go. You have a built-in solenoid for master cylinder built into the back here for disc brakes. Uh, the great feature about this is that it can be taken out of the, uh, to be checked on and you do not have to remove the cover, nor do you have to remove the uh, actuator from the trailer tongue itself. This uh, magnet can be spun out, then you can clean the fluid out. If there's any trash there, note that the brake line connects here, and you do not have to disconnect the brake line to check the master cylinder. So this is a big feature for checking uh, to see if there's uh, dirty fluid in it or the magnets uh, not working or maybe it's just a bad connection from the electrical wiring but it makes it much easier for you to verify all of these things much quicker that you don't have to take the actuator off of the trailer itself. We have continue, we have the grease fittings again on the rollers. This uh, gives the consumer a longer life, a smoother action. They can lubricate these. This is very important in harsh uh, salt water conditions or anywhere the trailer is stored outside so this will give it a longer life by having that uh, available. Our e-stop cable is coiled, vinyl coated, again stays out of the way and when it's connected to the vehicle it tends not to droop because of it uh, being coiled and vinyl coated. This is a different view of the solenoid with the cover on. And as you can see, there's a space here behind the solenoid so that the wire can be disconnected. Using a pair of large uh, pliers, you can gently twist this off. Again, your brake line comes out here so that uh, you don't have to take the brake line off to service the solenoid.
pin will not go in if the ball is not all the way latched in the coupler. Show you how to take out the solenoid out of the back to check it. The cover already is loosened up so that you can the video. Simply take a pair of pliers that have a nice wide grip, disconnect your blue wire so that it will swivel around, and then simply take that and turn that so that you can get in there and twist this out by hand. out. You can flush fluid by pumping the actuator. You can connect this to your battery to make sure your plunger goes upside. Do-da, do-da, do-da.